happen? In the previous video, we learned more about 100th through some interesting examples. In this video, we will see some of the misconceptions related to this. Bunny has come to help Barbole uncle at his shop today. Babban has come to buy cloth for his scarf from uncle. He asked uncle for a 2.5 meter long cloth. Uncle asked Bunny to cut a 2.5 meters long cloth and give it to Babban. Bunny measured the cloth with a tape and gave it to Babban. Babban paid the money for the cloth to uncle and returned home. On returning home, when Babban measured the cloth with his tape, he found that the length of the cloth was 2.05 meters. He immediately reached uncle's shop. When he told this to uncle, uncle once again measured that cloth with his tape and found that Babban was right. The length of the cloth was actually 2.05 meters. He asked Bunny about this. But uncle, 2.05 meters is equal to 2.5 meters, right? Bunny said to uncle. Uh, look Bunny dear, in 2.05 meters, decimal point is followed by 05 or 500 part of a meter and uh, how many centimeters of a meter is equal to five hundredths? Five centimeters! Bunny quickly replied. Exactly! Uh, in this way, 2.05 is equal to two meters and five centimeters. Now, in the same way, in 2.5 meters, the number after the decimal is 5 or the 5 tenth part of a meter. 1 tenth part of a meter is equal to 10 centimeters. Therefore, the 5 tenth part of a meter will be equal to 10 times 5 or 50 centimeters. Thus, 2.5 meters is equal to 2 meters and 50 centimeters. Uncle explained Bunny. Well, now I understand, Uncle, that 2.05 meter and 2.5 meter are not equal. And I accidentally gave Babban cloth of the wrong length. Bunny told Uncle. Bunny immediately took back the cloth from Babban and this time measured 2.5 meters or 2 meters and 50 centimeters of cloth using his tape, cut it and gave it to Babban. Babban happily returned home with the cloth of the right length this time. Children, in this video we learned about some misconceptions related to hundredth.